Thanks. Let's go live to Launceston and bring in Jackie Lambie from her party function. Jackie, thanks for your time. Looks like you're going to win a few seats as you'd hoped. What's your starting principle here? Will you go for and talk with the party with the most seats and try and secure a, an agreement, some cooperation, whether it be confidence and supply or, or some sort of setup? Will you be driven by the party with the most seats? Is that the starting point? I think that Jackie Lambie tried to look for um, Jeremy Rockcliffe to extend the hand of friendship out yesterday and he didn't bother to do that once again. So that's his second chance in three days. Uh, my candidates are watching all this play out, which is not very helpful to Jeremy Rockcliffe. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what, they have not played this game very well. It's, it's just because we, we're basing ourselves on integrity and transparency and doing the right thing uh, and leading by example. And I'll tell you what, what we've seen out of the Liberal Party has been absolutely shocking. It's been disgraceful. It is really, really, I mean, it's up to my candidates, mate, but seriously, uh, they're sitting here going, yeah, this is going to be really, really difficult. You know, maybe they, that three may get the chance to sit on the sidelines and everybody else can make, go and make the deals and the parties up uh, and we'll just sit there and learn the job, maybe. You know, that's, that's another option that we have and just stay out of the rubble. Who knows? Uh, we just really need to see who comes out, who wins their seats, what does the major parties look like on that makeup? Uh, that sort of thing. So seriously, uh, we're probably a week and a half away from that. But once again, I told, like I said, Jeremy Rockcliffe, um, you know, he could have fixed a few things yesterday and he didn't want to. Are you referring in large part to that fake website that was designed very similar yeah, I am, to your I gave him an opportunity. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I asked him to show some goodwill yesterday and take that down and it's still up. So, you know, that's what the candidates wanted, to give him that opportunity. He hasn't taken that opportunity. I don't think Jeremy Rockcliffe actually himself wants to lead the party. This is the problem. And, and, and their problem, their worry is, is it going to be Michael Ferguson or Erica Betts? So they're like, geez, it might be better us for us just to learn our job really well in the next, next 12 months and see what the independents see if they want to make up those numbers with whoever the Labor and Liberal, uh, which may actually might be a smarter option. But once again, um, you know, they know this is all on the table. They will have to have a good look at this um, and go from there. But it's just really difficult at this point in time. One, we still don't know if we've won seats. Um, and second, we still don't know what the makeup looks like. So. Uh, you know, and that could take up until after Easter, I would think, uh, because, you know, I, I would think that they're not going to be counting Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday down here. So, gee, it could be as late as next week before we even know exactly who's got those seats. Jackie, it's Andrew Clonell. Are you hopeful of winning as many as three or four seats? Is that how you see the numbers? I know you say you can't say for sure now. Are you feeling more confident tonight than you did when you were in this office with us uh, the other day, and if you were to win that amount, will you be personally involving yourself in negotiations with either side of politics with your novice MPs? You know, I try and keep them humble, Andrew. We try not to take anything for granted. That comes, um, that, that comes up with the Tasmanian people as well. We would really love to win three or four seats. These guys have put in a huge effort. You know, we've tried, to, we've tried to keep our integrity intact. We don't take those huge, those huge um, donations or anything like that. We run on the smell of an oily rag. Nothing changes here. Um, you know, so it would be nice for if Tasmanians are given the opportunity for three or four of the Jackie Lambie Network to do that. Mate, my job is to mentor them. I want to make sure that's quite clear. They have to be the adults in the room. I've just got to stand back and I've got to find a very fine line by having that step back and letting them grow as quickly as possible and making their own decisions. So to use and abuse me for my knowledge, uh, any discussions that they want to come over the table which makes their lives easier, that's what I'm there for. Jackie Ashley Gillen here. You famously told Jeremy Rockcliffe to stick his stadium up his bum. Are you really saying that, though, to the 150 Tasmanians who have already signed up to the team? Wouldn't you be essentially telling them to stick the team up their bum because no stadium equals no team? The AFL keeps telling us that. And when it comes to the stadium, no, that's your that's that, as that's bull, that, nah, as you are. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. That is bullshit about that stadium. That is bullshit. OK, let's get that down pat right now. We're all, always going to have an AFL team eventually, and we've got one. But dictating to us to have a, have a roof over a stadium when we don't have roofs over people's houses, roofs over people's heads down here is just rubbish. 
If Jeremy had done this properly and didn't hide all the detail and had been transparent, we wouldn't be discussing this. We now have Stadium 2.0, Stadium 3.0, and where does it end? So you know what? I can't do anything until we can get our hands on that contract. OK, but what I do well, know is Tasmania is drawing it really tough down here with the cost of living. Forming any minority government? Oh, what I'll be saying to Jeremy Rockcliffe, you pass us over the contract, big boy, because my guys want to see what's in that contract. You can guarantee he won't do it. That's going to be another problem. He won't want to pass over that contract because, it, because it ju he just won't. So once again, it'll come down to transparency. But um, seriously, we have a great... We have York Park up here in Launceston. It is a great AFL place to have it. It would have cost us probably 20% of the money that we need to put in for down there, and we need to start prioritising the people of Tasmania first and foremost. Not a goddamn bloody stadium. Not a stadium. What? Over the welfare of our Why? people in Tasmania. Enough of that. Is this really becoming a bit of a Launceston versus Hobart fight then, in terms of this stadium? Is, is, that, is that the problem for Jeremy Rockliffe here? Yep. The problem is we can't afford a new stadium and he has a perfect one here that he could build upon in Launceston. He could have had that choice. He could have been smart and I can tell you what, part of that business case, unless Jeremy Rockcliffe can show me on paper, he never even looked at doing that at York Park. He didn't even put that into the equation. Thinks Jeremy Rockcliffe thinks it's his money. Well, it's the people of Tasmania, it is their money. And this has been a right, real problem all the way along. It's got nothing to do with us all wanting an AFL team, sure, and that's why you've seen so many people sign up. That does not give Jeremy Rockcliffe approval here for his stadium. That's not what they're doing. They're getting behind an AFL team. Doesn't mean they're getting behind the stadium. There's clearly been, Jackie, a swing against the government, and it, a lot of it seems to have gone to you rather than Labor. There's a swing against Labor as well that's gone to you. Why do you think people haven't gone for the traditional opposition here? What could you offer them that Labor couldn't in terms of winning their vote at this election? I think for me personally, my performance in the Senate, when I say I'm going to do something, that is what I mean, and that comes under the Lambie brand. When we say we're going to go and fight like hell and we're going to make this work, that is what we do. It comes down to trust and transparency. And I'm always out there, I'm always transparent with the people. I will tell them the truth whether they want to hear it or not. And that's what I'm about. I've always been about that personally, and that is extended out to the brand. And I think that makes a significant difference. And I think this is, unless they start telling the truth, they start doing truth in political advertising, they start doing something about political donations, even on the federal scale for the next federal election, you are going to see more Lambies and more um, Tills up there. There is no doubt about that. This is what people want, 21st century, 24-hour news cycle, all that social media up there. It's about time they started putting our values back into our Australian way of life. And that's what people want to see. Jackie, obviously Tasmania is your home state. You've got a huge profile there. But if you have a cracker night tonight, could this just be the beginning for you at, at state elections? We've got a Queensland election, Northern Territory election, WA election next year. Could this be a springboard no. for you into state politics right around the country? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, no, we've only got a small board. Um, it's really, really difficult. If we were going to go for anything in the future, it would be federal seats and there'd be Senate ones. I'll say that much. But we certainly, I certainly will not be, during my time, running in any other state um, at a state election apart from Tasmania. You just can't. It, it's, um, it, is a, it is a lot um, from me personally, um, um, which I don't mind giving, but it is a, even more on top of what I'm already giving. Um, for me, for my personal life, I don't have one. And I just think it's about time I found some balance somewhere, uh, for, uh, not only just for my mental health, but for me to have some sort of life. And I, I, I think, uh, you know, I need to start finding that a little bit. So, um, you know, we just, have to, we just have to be really careful here. Small board, there's my face out there. You know, I can only cover so much ground and I've got to find some time for myself somewhere, um, you know, and I'm not very good at yeah. doing that, to be honest. No, that makes, makes a lot of sense. And you've also said that you want to... Help your novice MPs, whether it's two, three, four, we'll see over the coming hours, but you want to help them over the, the first year to find their feet and then let them basically sink yeah. or swim. Is, is that how you see it? 
Oh, I won't be sink and swim. I, I mean, it might only take me six months just to get them, you know, it, it, it's, it's just to get them settled. They're feeling confident and I just walk out. I, I probably, I've said 12 months, that's probably exaggerating a little bit. I'd expect them to pick it up a little bit earlier, um, but I'll be there. So it's just for me to walk. Mate, good thing is, mate, because I'm up for election next May, it actually makes this an easier run for me because I do have to spend a lot of time over the next 12 months on the ground in Tassie. So, you know, so it's a win-win for me and it's a win-win for them. What do you see as their number one fight now? Is it the stadium or is there some... Or is it these transparency issues you talk uh, about? What, what is the number one or two fights that they... No, 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 no. ..any government trying to form? That they, that they are interested in your MPs. You know, their fight, their fight now is I want to know, I want to know when the ramp hospital, when we're going to stop ramping. I want to know how they're going to get more GPs down here. It's, 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 it's our health. Our health is our biggest issue down here and our cost of living. You know, we're 100% renewable here. We own hydro down here and all you can come up with some shitty deal of 250 bucks off your electricity bill for Tasmanians down here. No way. No way. They're going to need a more. They're going to need a lot more than about their cost of living. You know, I reduced their... Uh, I got the public housing deal done for them. I begged Peter Gutwin back then to get solar on those brand new houses to add a little bit extra to them. So these guys that were on those low incomes, their power bills were more than halved. They wouldn't even do... This is the sort of stuff they've got to start looking at. Really simple stuff. And they're not doing that. So for us, it's all about the cost of living. It's about housing, but it's about health. It's about health, mate. Even to go and see podiatrists, three months down here now, three months. It's just really bad. I can't get kids in to see psychologists. I can't get counsellors in our schools for these kids. We're in a little world of hurt, mate. We're in a world of hurt down here. Well, you, you might um, you might get that olive branch extended to you. You didn't get it yesterday. Might might be extended tomorrow from Jeremy Rockliffe. Um, who knows? If it extended and was half, you know, half serious, and he would have removed that URL yesterday, and um, you know, shown some um, some friendship or a handship out there, and he has not done that, which I found that really disappointing. So nothing's changed. Their values or integrity haven't changed to any. That, that which is really difficult because my guys are watching all this. I'm talking to them every day, and they're going, "Do oh, you kidding, right?" Yeah, and I'm going, yeah, it makes it really, really difficult. So they've played a really stupid game, Jeremy has. But once again, I don't expect Jeremy to stay there for long. It was never his intention to be Premier. Uh, and that's the other problem that's sitting at the back of our minds as well. Who is actually going to be there for four years? Uh, are they going to be there if, if it is the Liberal Party? Who's going to be in charge? Jackie Lambie, appreciate it. We'll see you during the week as uh, when you're back in Canberra. Thanks. Thank you. Good on you. Thanks so much.